So I'll wait in until half past ten for a delivery from APC and what do we get? Bloody farm foods. <sighs> right, I give up, I'm gonna work. So we just had a beer delivery this morning. Arrived just in time to take it in. And now I've been sat here for an hour or two. And we've been working on the plates for the plate chiller. Soaking them's done a good job actually. And that's what I was waiting. That's what I was waiting in for. I was gonna get some chemicals to rejuvenate the rubber gaskets. But uh, it turns out that APC are wank and they've just not delivered on freaking time. So I can't afford to sit in the house all day, particularly after a bank holiday weekend, waiting for a bloody delivery. So I've come down here and uh, we'll get these plates all cleaned up. And then at least I can get into the mash tun at some point this week and figure out how we're gonna put, put a false bottom in there, folks. Cause uh, at the minute, I don't know. exactly how long that's just taken me to pick off what down here looks like a small pile of elastic bands. It's half past bloody two. But that's one step closer to having a plate heat exchanger ready for the brewery. There are all the plates that we've just cleaned. Yeah, couple. Now I have to figure out exactly how these plates go together and I have to recondition the rubber gaskets for them as well which I ain't going to be able to do until I can pick up these chemicals that were meant to come today, well they were meant to come last week. So we may have to wait to resume this project. I can't understand a few things though. I mean, look at these, different pattern, really shiny, and they're dull with different, like, shaped chevrons. You see the difference of the two? If you've got a clue, let me know. Here we go, look. I knew it. So, they've been again. That's not acceptable, that. It should be through here. It should be through letterbox. It's taking the piss, honestly. Sorry we missed you. Parcels. School run complete. Come on then, let's go back to work. Or try. I've come up with a freaking idea, boys and girls. Look at that. Yeah. So that's the exit for the mash tun. And I've never ever had a stuck sparge on my homebrew equipment. And I use a 22mm copper manifold. I think I'm going to put one in here. Now, I know it's copper and it's a different metal, but it's only going to be submerged in 60 to 70 degree wort for probably no longer than an hour, two tops, if you include the runoff. And of course, copper is a micronutrient for yeast, so it's not all a bad thing. It swings and roundabouts. So I've got this piece of stainless steel two inch pipe, which is what I actually made that hole with. But uh, we're gonna cut a little section off the end and put a slit down it and fold it inwards on itself so it's a smaller external diameter than the internal diameter. Basically it'll fit inside itself. And then we're gonna cap that off with some type of 22 mil fitting. And from there, we will create our Doo -doo -doo. Manifold. Bit of 
trial and error, but I think if I remove the gap, you know, the piece of metal between these two slits, then we might be able to just pull that together so it meets, weld it up and stuff it inside the other piece and it should be a good fit. Right, we've uh, capped both ends off. Argon going in there to purge it. I poked a hole in that end so there's somewhere for the gas to go when we've sealed the uh, split on the top. Oh, the split on the top. Uh, so there goes nothing. Right. Set it on fire straight away. Three shops. I've ended up going to Jusons and paying nearly six quid for a wire fucking brush. No, that's a couple of quid, isn't it? Just a bit. How are you, buddy? Anyway, I'm good, mate. I'm good. You take my lid off. <laughs> You're right tonight, isn't it? It's the big, the big reveal. <laughs> a bit dirty. I've been working for a change. He's done it again, boys and girls. I literally can't get a full day's work in. I do not know what you mean. He took some real dragging, honestly. Real dragging. Ten foot claw marks in there where he's had his nails in paint. We'll have to repaint the floor. Oh, bless you. I just ran into the unit to get the camera and ran back up to the pub before Froggy went home. Just to get him to do the outro. Well, I'm afraid. You're gonna just have to put up with me, folks. So before we go, just a quick recap of what the crack is. This is gonna go into, well it does, it fits perfectly into the outlet for the HLT. Just needs a little bit of a tidy up on the ends. And then what we're gonna do is somehow install this three quarter inch BSP to half inch BSP fit in. And then we're going to come off the half inch BSP fitting with some copper pipe. Which hopefully will allow me to then actually fabricate a copper manifold. There's no reason to step up to the three quarter inch because the current or the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I guess the current carrying capacity of this fitting is uh, is going to be enough because it's going to have to fit through that hole anyway so we should be able to have a decent outflow uh, and also it'll limit the outflow preventing the grain bed crushing so that will allow me to drain off the mash tun without causing a stuck sparge I think so yeah tomorrow day after this is all going to be part of the jigsaw puzzle that we're going to have to put together but until then folks, I'm afraid Jezza is going to have to tell you now is the time to head home. So we will see you on Wednesday's edition. Hump day already, can't believe it.